in the prayer. So it's not to a picture or a statue. And so I said this prayer and the, the speech ended and the function ended. And the next day morning, Swami asked uh, the, the elders, how did this boy speak? And they said, Swami, very good, very good. He came to me. He said, who are you to order me? <laughs> I was like, what? I, d I didn't get it. I didn't connect to everything, right? I said, Swami, who are you to order me? Make me a cup of tea. Make me coffee. Make me instrument. Who are you to order me? I couldn't tell him that was what was printed, that's actual prayer and all that. I was like, oh my gosh, it's about the prayer. But uh, I, I just kept looking at him and he said, why didn't you say, may I? May I? May yeah. I sit down? May I help you? Adhuktava leda means, don't you ask like that? When you, it's out of manners, out of politeness. And he looked at some elderly devotees. No, that is correct, no? Who's make me? May I? <laughs> In Swami accent, you know, he becomes a child. And so all those people said, yes, Swami, that's much better. And then Swami looks at me. <laughs> and Swami looks at me, may I, Chapu? May I? And then um, I was happy he was not very angry or something, but he gave me a beautiful thought. Then I, then I, when I went back and I said, may I be an instrument of thy peace? It gave me a, a very reverential attitude automatically. And I said, oh my God, this is why Swami wanted me to say, may I? May I be an instrument? May I so love? It was like seeking permission and being humble that may I be used, please use me, kind of a thing, you know. So there was a very reverential attitude that developed within me to be an instrument and yet be humble at the same time. And therefore, that became my mantra. And I was so happy that Swami actually encouraged me and changed it for me. And so I kept on saying that for years on end. And then towards the 1989-90 when Swami took us to Kodaikanal, it was a 45 days of every day you have to speak in front of Swami. Uh, and so we were running out of con content. But like I said, it, is, it wasn't three, four hours at a stretch. It was 20 minutes or 25 minutes, short talks. Uh -huh. But still, it was in front of Swami. You had to be very, very mindful of what you speak. He's just right there sitting next to you. You dare not say something just to be smart or act cheeky because he can flick you off. You know, we have seen that by then, right? So um, I said, okay, I got this prayer now. I know how to say it correctly, may I? So I can't go wrong this time. So this was after so many years. That's why I said it was in early 81 or something, I got this first prayer. And then it was modified to may I. And then towards the end of that decade, I was saying, may I, may I. And so in that speech in Kodaikanal, I gave a short speech and I looked at Swami once again. This time he was sitting so close to me. And I said, Swami, may I be an instrument of thy peace where there is doubt may I so faith where there is darkness may I so light with all humility and sincerity from my heart I said this prayer and Swami looked at me and I came down I, I, I touched his feet Swami patted my back and I was getting the pat I said okay thank God this may I thing worked you know when you're very sure of that <laughs> he makes you feel everything is fine and I got up to look at Swami and Swami made this fantastic statement he said let me say that in Telugu first because it was so, um, just so beautiful when he said that in Telugu. He said, Inka enta se pura, may I beggar laga, may I, may I, may I chapta hu. I'm sorry. We, we got I'm half sorry. of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so he said, still how many years like a beggar you're going to say, may I, may I, may I. And, I, and everybody started laughing and I was like, oh my gosh, didn't you tell me? I was thinking about this. And I just looked at Swami, now this is wrong, where do I go with this? And then beautifully Swami said, when are you going to say, I am an instrument, you know, ah. there was a firmness in his voice, like a coach. He said, I am an, I am an instrument of thy peace, Chapu. Inti may I, may I, I am an instrument. Where there is doubt, I will sow faith. Atla Chapu. And that gave me shivers, you know. And therefore, <laughs> from that day, I am an instrument of thy peace. Where there is doubt, I sow faith. Where there is darkness, I give, I share light. And that has changed my whole, I'm not waiting to become an instrument. I'm not <laughs> waiting to be called to do work. I am it already, get into action. Swami said, that's why he gave us the most powerful mantra. Start saying, I am God, I am God, I am not different from God. He could have said, pray, may I become God, or please do. He said, no, you don't have time for that. Because when we wait, we keep waiting forever. 
we attend satsangs and retreats and, and then we say someday we'll become God. You know that someday is never going to come. Start saying right now and then that slowly becomes a reality. So from the day I started saying I am an instrument, I began to feel, yes, I am already. I'm part of his mission. What am I waiting for? And that encouraged me, gave me the strength, gave me the, the courage to, to represent Swami, to speak about him without any fear. 